The final part of this unit then, I'll just say briefly to them about finding the maximum of a function. So unfortunately, um, uh, SciPy does not have an f max function. So you have f min to find minimum, and you have f solve to find zero points. But what we don't unfortunately have is a SciPy optimize f max. Um, uh, and so we're not able to kind of do this thing in a kind of one line change of what we went and do, did. So how do we go about finding the maximum? Well, it's quite straightforward, actually, because if you think about it, the maximum f of x or whatever must be just simply the minimum of minus f of x. So if we can define a new function g of whatever, of x, whatever, that's minus f of x, and then ask to find the minimum of g, we've found the maximum of f. So all we have to do is just define a new function. So we could, for example, do here. So I've just defined a new function called neg mod landau, um, and it simply just calls um, on its sort of first line of code. Result is minus mod landau dot 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 dot. Um, and then I've just got the extra bit of code in there just to go and track what it's actually doing. So now we can just use fmin as before. Um, and again, to help illustrate what's going on, we'll show you the intermediate steps as it as it goes along. <coughs> so I've plotted out the modified Landau function. And <coughs> now I'm asking it to find the minimum of the negative of the mod Landau function. And you can see, indeed, it's gone and done that. It started off at, I told it to start at minus one, and it's walked up the hill. Um, and it's located that there's a, uh, there's a maximum at about 0 0.25 and a bit, um, uh, which again, I mean, you could prove by actually differentiating set equal to zero and, and doing it analytically, but this has managed to go into it all numerically. Um, yeah, of course, this is all a bit of a, a, a hassle because you have to create all this extra function uh, all the time. So it's... Um, just a bit of the pain in the backside. Um, well, though SciPy doesn't actually have an F max, there's no reason why you can't roll your own um, and get around the problem. So um, this is what I've done here. I've defined an F max function. Um, this is what it looks like. So it's going to take um, a function as the thing it's going to maximize, and take a value of x0, and it's going to take whatever arguments um, you want to pass into it. Um, and that's because all I'm going to go and do is I'm going to build myself a new function, which is the negative, whatever I give it, and I'm going to call fmin with it. Um, OK, so this function um, is going to use a little bit of syntax called lambda. Um, this is what I've covered in the uh, unit four of the syntax uh, tutorials. Um, and what Lambda does is it can create a, a function, particularly a mathematical function, so some, which does some calculation um, and um, returns a value, and you can do it all in one line. So that first line of that function, where I define this variable neg func, that's um, being defined to be a thing that I can call like a function that's just simply going to return minus calling function with this exactly the same parameters. I'm also using the star and star star syntax. And again, that's covered in functions unit three. Um, so I think Lambda is actually in functions unit four. Um, uh, using the star and star star from functions unit three. Um, and this allows you to write a function where you don't know um, exactly what parameters you're going to be passed when you call it. Um, and so then I simply call the fmin with that. And just to demonstrate it can work, um, uh, we can just then go and run it. So um, the fmax I've written is essentially just calling fmin, but passing the general function that returns the negative whatever fmax was called with. The other caveat you need to be aware of with both fmin and fmax and actually fsolve as well is that if you set a starting value that um, is, is in the wrong place, you can end up trying to roll the function off to um, infinity. Um, so for example, in our 
uh, Landau functions we've been looking at, they have a maximum at x is equal to plus or minus infinity. And if you tell it to go and start off finding where the maximum is from too far away from um, the, the, the maximum you're interested in, it'll simply go and tell you it's at plus or minus infinity. And it'll take quite a long time to get there as well, because it'll spend a long time looking to see if there's a maximum between x is 10 to the power 27 and 10 to the power 300. Um, so again, the bottom line, all of these sci-fi optimization things, the smarter you can be about your starting guesses, um, the more successful your function is going to be at working.